hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can create a circular text warp in piezo lab I've, I've been using this um effect in most of my designs and some people have been asking me how i achieved it with piezo lab so today's video i'll be showing you guys the easy step i used to achieve it so without further ado let's get into the video okay so before we go on kindly subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't and also share this video and like this video so that more people can be able to see this video okay the first thing we're going to do is to create text i'll be using the text from oh i'll be using the text from the previous design that was here so i'm going to import it again and then i'll set my background to this dark color so the text here is comifash and i'll be trying to replicate it so i'll just go to my text and i'll write the comifash here and then i'll choose my font I'll use um poppins. I'll use poppins. I'll use poppins um regular. Okay, I'll use poppins medium. Okay, so I'm going to center align it like this, and then I'll go to my curve and I'll curve the shape just like this. The next thing I'll do is to duplicate it. And bring it to the same position as the first one and then I'll go to my rotate and I'll rotate it you can rotate it minus 180 or 180 degrees and I'll bring it here now if you notice the text are not really aligned to form a circle so the next thing we'll do is just to create a shape a circle shape you can reduce the size and give it any color now just align this text with the shape now i'm going to make the shape smaller because of how the because of the nature of the text i'll make the shape smaller and i'll try to align the text with the shape so that it creates a perfect curve okay so when you're done you can just delete it and i think we have a perfect circle you can just check you can use your shape tool to keep checking the size to make sure that it's a perfect circle okay i think we're going somewhere you can just keep adjusting okay i feel the previous one is better all right yeah so it's perfectly aligned in the center perfectly aligned in the center you can use another shape to cross check to see if it's perfectly aligned okay okay and we have this so you can just go over and um, hide the shapes and then you can add an extra text inside i'll be using um the fonts old london for this i'll just increase the size and then i'll place it in the middle of of this text i'll reduce the kerning and i'll change the color to to this color i don't think it's perfectly aligned okay okay so you continue tweaking it to find a visual balance okay i think i'll increase it a bit and i'll just put it in the center again right so this is all we have and then um, 
you can just go over and um, merge everything you can go over and merge everything and you have this now you can use this in any of your your designs because it's a perfect circle and it's actually very very nice um i've used it in some of my designs in the past and um, they actually add to the they actually add to the um overall design so yeah that's basically it um let me know what you think about this design and leave in the comment section what you want me to upload next and yeah before that peace out and see you guys in the next video